Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I will be telling you guys about what I plan to read for the Ostara round of the Witchathon. So this round of the Witchathon, um, as usual, is created by Rhiannon from, uh, I forget the name of her channel right now, I'm totally blanking on that, but um, you know uh, I will just leave her announcement video down below. This is all about the Spring Equinox and it has challenges that are all spring themed. And it goes from March 13th to the 20th. So the group book for this round is When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie McLemore. And I have this book, so I've got to participate in the group book, right? Um, so anyway, um, this also fits the challenges of a um, book with flowers on the cover, because there are plenty of flowers on the cover of this. And also um, a book in a genre that you do not normally read or haven't read lately and uh, this is magical realism. I have not read magical realism in forever. The next book that I'm going to show you guys is um, going to fit two challenges as well. Um, a book with romance in it as well as an action-packed book and that is going to be Moonraker by Ian Fleming. This is a James Bond book and I have like four different James Bond books on my shelf that I have not yet read but since I just watched um, the movie of Moonraker um, over Christmas, I figured it was a good time to read this book. And finally, the last challenge is to read a book that is set in a warm climate. This was actually very difficult to figure out a book for because I do have plenty of unread books on my shelf that have cold climates, but not really that many with warm climates. So finally I decided that The Blood of Flowers by Anita Amirez Bunny should count for this because Iran can get very hot sometimes. So these three books are the ones that I plan to read for the Ostara round of the Witchathon. Let me know if you've read any of these and have thoughts on them. Let me know if you are participating in this round of the Witchathon and what you are planning to read. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.